नमस्कार डू यू नो दैट मैनी ऑफ आर डिजीजेज और सिम्टम लाइक एक्ने कैंसर अल्सर लिवर प्रॉब्लम किडनी प्रॉब्लम आर समवेयर रिलेटेड टू द इम्प्योरिटीज प्रेजेंट इन योर डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम येस आर डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम हैज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल टू प्ले इन नॉर्मल फंक्शनिंग ऑफ आर बॉडी एंड सो इट बिकम्स नेसेसरी टू डिटॉक्स द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम एट the regular interval we are not aware but our intestines may have food particles which are as old as one year which may hinder the system it is vital to remove out of our system do not worry i have very unique solution to offer it is called shank prakshalan it is most ancient practice in hatha yoga which detoxifies your body and make absolutely clean just like in diwali we really clean our house similarly shank prakshalan deep cleans our digestive system right from the top to bottom mouth to end let us directly jump on how to do it but before that people suffering from duodenal ulcer heart diseases and i would say any disease as such should not do it choose the date to practice it over a week end first you need to boil 2 liter or approximately 10 glasses of water add salt to it the water should be cooled down to your body temperature and it should taste like tears when you get up in the morning take 2 to 3 glasses of this water or drink as per your capacity now practice six asanas these asanas need to be performed six times each in a dynamic motion remember If in between asan you feel like going to loo and evacuate your bowel then feel free to do it immediately and you start again from where you left the asans are number 1 talasan number 2 keeping your legs 1 foot apart stand straight inhale it and raise your both hands straight from front to head along with your heels raising upwards hold your breath for about 6 counts and slowly come back by rotating your both arms from behind to a starting position talasan stretches the abdomen area giving a tissues of digestive system a good stretch second variation of konasan interlace your finger and raise the arms above your head and now inhale and gently bend to your left do not move your pelvic region only the spine should be bending it massages your abdominal muscles repeat it on the other side third asan vakrasan bring your feet together inhale and raise both the hands in front of you now exhale and twist completely to your right slowly come back and then twist to your left do it for six times vakrasan gives a nice twist to your abdomen fourth asan kati chakrasan this is another twisting asan your legs should be 2 and 1/2 feet or shoulder wide apart put your right palm on the left shoulder from the front and now bend your left arm from the elbow and take it behind to reach to your shoulder upwards now exhale and twist to your left repeat the same thing on the other side and then the whole set six times the mid vertebral column is getting a nice twist in this asan fifth triyak bhujangasana this is a twisting variant of classic bhujangasana all you have to do is lie down on your stomach the prone position will provide pressure on your abdomen keep your palm on the floor near your chest and inhaling raise your head up now turn your head to left and try to look back at the toe repeat the same on the right side looking at the toe and come back twisting gives an appropriate massage to your digestive organs sixth asan is udrakarshan this is the asan for abdominal compression here you are sitting in vajrasan exhale and bend your left knee in such a way that the sole is placed on the mat and the knee is touching the chest try to place the sole as close to your body as possible and now twist to your left side hold for six count and repeat the same on the other side people suffering from knee pain or have undergone knee replacement have to skip this asan as i told earlier each asan should be repeated six times once you have done with the asan drink two glass of water and again repeat the asan
in between evacuate the bowels when you feel like and resume the asanas from where you left while you evacuate initially the bowels would be normal we should eventually turn into a foggy yellow liquid and then into a clear water once you start evacuating clear water from the aders then you have to stop this whole process now remember one thing every human is different every body type is different some may be able to evacuate very easily but for other evacuation may not be possible do not put any pressure the salt water and the other filth will be removed from the system via urine a lot of energy goes in this kriya once done you have to rest properly in shavasana but make sure you do not go to sleep the whole process is new to your body so you might feel cold or you might have headache so don't sleep now understand what to eat the first thing you should eat after the kriya is khichdi khichdi should be made with yellow moong lentil moong dal and rice clarified butter that is ghee and pinch of turmeric it will restore the digestive system clarified butter will have a thin coating over the intestinal wall until it produces new lining rice gives digestible carbohydrate that produces mucus which protects alimentary canal until the new lining cover the wall lastly the lentil will provide bulk to keep the digestive tract it would provide stretch and will also help in any kind of cramp it also gives digestible protein offering proper nutrition khichdi will resume the normal peristalsis and avoiding any kind of constipation diarrhea or indigestion again take rest but do not sleep for 3 hours after the first meal your second meal also should be khichdi but you have to have it after 6 hours of the first meal then you can resume eating as per hunger but you have to strictly stick to food like boiled vegetable without spices and onion garlic you should avoid even oil fruits buttermilk lemon water and diluted milk these are the kind of food that you have to eat for minimum 2 days only then we can say that you have detoxed your digestive system to its fullest other kriyas that you can do to rest are makrasan and nishpandabha try to save energy by talking less and engaging minimum in heavy activities after 2 days on the third day you will feel your energy is really boosting you will feel very active throughout the day and your productive level will also go very high after detoxifying your body try to binge less on oily spicy and junk food focus on eating a healthy and fibrous food this kriya needs to be practiced once in 6 months or once in a year and not too often but at any given point in time if you are feeling unwell stop it right away and let your body relax you try to detox your body and stay fit namaskar